very different collections. Yeah. So what's the name? Okay, well, I'm gonna touch it. I'm just gonna show it to you. He's on me. He's on me. Oh, yeah. I'm gonna check it. I'm not gonna make you do it. This here is Elvis, and Elvis is called a marine toad. So, does he like bugs? He likes So, you can look at them from far away. You can take pictures from far away. You can wait at them from far away. You can hang out at them from far away. But you won't get close to them. The reason why we can hang out with Larry and he's so cool is because we hatched him from an egg. We've spent every day with him. And when we hatched him from an egg, I don't know how cool it is, but we did it anyway. We tricked him into thinking he's a chihuahua, so he has no idea what's happening. It helps. And it, I'm not even joking. Check this out. Those are good chihuahuas. When he's going to be over 20 feet long and weigh over 200 pounds. Yeah. This small head of his can get about that big. And snakes have the ability to dislocate their jaw so they can eat something even bigger than their head. survive very long because being bright yellow is not a good quality to have out in the Everglades. They do not move too fast. Looking like a giant banana while you're trying to sneak up on your food is not a good quality. But out of the wild, the ones that do do well are the ones that are not albino. They can brown and black. They can hide in the grass. They can hide in the dirt. They creep around their food. They catch it. They are constrictors. They bite. They wrap around and they squeeze very tight. If I tried to pet her, if I tried to pet her, she would bite me. But she wants me. She lets me know she doesn't want to be touched. But Eva will let me hold her. So everything with them takes time. When we first rescued her, she wouldn't even let me hold her. Everything with them takes time. And Ava is five years old. When we rescued her, she's three years old. So it's taken two years for her to get used to being held by someone. And the reason things with them take so long is because they can live up to 75 years. They live for a very long time. Now, I can't have anyone touch Ava, but I will have a volunteer help me hold her. He's a barn owl. Yeah, he's a barn owl. Yeah, yeah here's all day barn owl. And an easy way to tell apart a barn owl from other owls is there are only two kinds of owls in the whole world that have that big white part on their face. What's American porcupine? No. When you first see her, she does not look like a porcupine. She doesn't look spiky at all. And it's true, on the surface, this is a soft animal. But from head to tail, she is covered in thousands of sharp spikes called quills. And I'll show you what they look like. Let me see if I can get her to turn. Maybe she'll show them off to you guys. There we go. No, she's just going to get comfortable and lay down. There we go. So out in the desert, they use their big ears to cool themselves off. And to keep themselves from burning their paws, they have so much fur between each and every toe that they don't get burnt when they're out in the desert running around. They have shoes on all the time. Shoes? Yeah. Well, they kind of like shoes. Uh, you're right. It doesn't look very much like a bear. That's because Winnie the Pooh was drawn after an animal that is called a honey bear but isn't actually a bear. Honey bears are in the raccoon family. But they got the nickname Honey Bear because they saw them sneaking into beehives and stealing honey from the beehives using their tongue. Which is a pretty big deal because if we went around sticking our noses into beehives, we'd be in big trouble. Yeah. Now the bees will get upset that they're stealing honey. They will try to sting her, but they can't get to her skin. She's too furry. So she can eat all the honey she wants to. And she's not falling out of the tree. She can hold on to the trees just fine. She is a tree animal. Not only can she hang on by her paws, but she can even hang on by her prehensile tail. It helps her to hold on. If you want, you can actually give her a piece of popcorn. She's probably like it. Where are you going to take that? Now, now, Lily will use this tail to help her hold on in the trees. I'll show you what I'm talking about. She doesn't want to go down. Oh, yeah, but the thing is, I'm not a good tree climber, so she'll go to the top and I'll have to wait. This here is Buzz, and Buzz is my black and white dog. Buzz, as you can see.
tell right away. He's got hands. He is a primate. And listen to this. When he's happy, listen to the sound he makes when I kick on. Listen to this. Sometimes he gives me kisses after I kick on, but we'll see. That's the sound he makes when he's happy. And Buzz loves being scratched. Watch this. The easiest way to show off his hands to you guys is actually by cradling him and by scratch his arm. Let's watch this. 